WWE's version of ECW was a total bust. It was in no way similar to the original ECW, was treated as a joke, and WWE turned PG about a year and a half into its formation, which really did not help things for what's meant to be the extreme brand. But what about the final episode of ECW? Surely WWE would pull out all the stops for it and make sure it's brilliant. Well, let's see. What's going on guys, it's Tom or Top 10 Wrestling here and welcome to a look back at the final ever WWE ECW episode. Before we get into it though, I would like to thank my Patreon backers all listed here. For more exclusive content and perks, check out my Patreon, linked down below. It would really help me during these trying times and would be very much appreciated. I apologise for not uploading the last week, was taking a little break, but I'm back now. Gonna have like an update video, probably coming out tomorrow or the day after, just talking about things, because uh, there's a lot to discuss. But let's get in to this video. Greetings and salutations, this is almighty Christopher Daniels, sometimes known as the Fallen Angel, but always known as the greatest wrestler in the world, your mom's favorite wrestler, your dad's favorite wrestler, the world's favorite wrestler. I'm also a paragon of virtue, an inspiration to children everywhere, and the man with the rear that makes the girls cheer. And while you're watching me, I'm telling you, you're also watching Top 10 Wrestling, so congratulations. Let's watch this ECW episode, shall we? First thing I noticed immediately is just that old school WWE intro always makes me feel so nostalgic. Apparently tonight, ECW goes extreme one last time. We'll be the judge of that. I forgot how awful the ECW intro signature is. The song is absolutely terrible and it's just terrible as a whole, the entire intro. Josh Matthews and Byron Saxton are the commentators for tonight. I had no idea Byron Saxton was commentating as far back as 2010. And we already have our first problem. You're telling me it's the final episode of ECW and you couldn't get Joey Styles on commentary? He still, he still worked for you guys at the time, but you, you couldn't get him as a commentator? Give me a break. They start hyping on the debut of NXT, which makes me sad because it just reminds me of the Nexus. And throughout the show, they hype up NXT and reveal the pros and contestants on the show in these little graphics. It sucks. We open with a WWE Unified Tag Team Championship match as it's Show Miz, Big Show and The Miz, with their awful hybrid theme defending their titles and they are defending them against Goldust and Yoshi... Tatsu. On the final episode of ECW, we open with Big Show and Miz versus Goldust and Yoshi Tatsu. Because these are the first four people I think of when I think of ECW. And yeah, it's the final episode of ECW, and Big Show is locking in headlocks to Yoshi Tatsu. The Miz and Show just dominate this match for so long, and then when Goldust finally gets the hot tag, he beats down the Miz for about a minute. Then Big Show gets involved and The Miz hits the skull crushing finale for the win to retain the titles. And that was literally it. Poor stuff, not a great match, just very poor. And again, not ECW in the slightest. Like this is the match you have on your final episode to open it. This is how you open it. This this show could have brought back so many old school ECW fans. Cause like, oh, ECW is ending, let's, let's watch this. And this is what opens it, like, come on. We go backstage and see ECW GM Tiffany, and she's talking about NXT and promoting it, but then Zack Ryder shows up. He asks why he's not in the final ECW match, and Tiffany just says for him to go away. Like, even back then, Zack Ryder's being made to look like a complete dork. Abraham Washington is now in the ring. I forgot about this guy. He was basically saying a whole lot of nothing while some random man is laughing on the mic with an annoying ass laugh. Shelton Benjamin then comes out, he says a whole lot of nothing, then Vance Archer comes out, oh my god I forgot about him in WWE, he says a whole lot of nothing, then Kaylin Croft and Trent Beretta come out, it's AEW season right now in ECW, why is all these AEW wrestlers coming out, they say a whole lot of nothing, then Vladimir Kozlov comes out, what an all star cast this is, then there's a brawl and Kozlov and Benjamin come out on top, and what a pointless segment. Literally nothing of value was said. And it was probably the worst segment on the show. In fact, it was the worst segment on the show. Just a mess. 
and so terrible and pointless. They then hype up the Elimination Chamber for about 5 minutes, and then we go to the main event. Yep, we're at the main event already. This video has been about 4 minutes long, and we're at the main event already. The final ECW episode had 2 matches. We'll talk about this all at the end, but it's ECW champion Christian, and he's defending the title against Ezekiel Jackson in an Extreme Rules match. And thank God, something extreme is actually happening on Extreme Championship Wrestling. Zack Ryder tries to interfere early on in the match, but then Christian just destroys him with a flapjack onto the trash can. And Zack, again, looks like a complete dork. And this match is fairly slow and average, and then they bring a table out and it looks like things are finally going to pick up, but they don't. They fight some more, Christian uses the kendo stick on Jackson, chases Regal away and looks to hit the kill switch on Zeke, but Regal attacks from behind, Zeke then puts Christian through the table, and wins, and becomes the final ever ECW champion. Okay, let me talk about this, because even 10 years ago today, this still rubs me the wrong way. Christian left WWE in about 2005, went to TNA, became a massive star, just reinvented himself and was absolutely incredible and returned to WWE, the company who mistreated him, the company who didn't deserve him. He returned to them, probably brought so many eyes onto the ECW brand because he was put there, which he shouldn't have been because right from the get-go, him being put in ECW showed how they were going to treat him. He put so many eyes on the product, probably. He carried the brand. He was the only good part of the brand as the ECW champion. And then loses it to Ezekiel Jackson on the final show. You couldn't have just let Christian be the final champion. Like, come on. Come on. You know, because Ezekiel Jackson, when I think of ECW, oh, the first name that pops onto my head is e Ezekiel Jackson. He's so hardcore and extreme. Give me a break. But yeah, that was the show. Let's talk about the pros and cons of the show. Starting off with the cons. First of all, on the final episode of ECW, I get it's in the PG era. I get up until this point there already wasn't much extreme hardcore stuff happening on TV. But it's the final episode. Do something about it. Do some hardcore stuff. Do something cool. Make the make, Have a good way of saying goodbye to the brand. Like, actually make it look like you care. The other problem is that they spent the entire show hyping up NXT and hyping up the Elimination Chamber, making it really seem like they don't actually care what's going on in ECW right now on this show. There were no stars of the past, no legends. You know, you couldn't have got some random ECW legends. You couldn't have got Joey Styles doing commentary. Like, come on, like, Rob Van Dam, I get he was in TNA. In fact, was Rob Van Dam even in TNA at this point? Rob Van Dam wasn't even in TNA at this point. He didn't debut to the month after. You could have got him as a one-time appearance for this show. Oh my god, there were so many legends you could have got in contact with. But they just chose to have Yoshitatsu Goldust, the big show The Miz, Christian and Ezekiel Jackson representing the brand. Oh, and also Vance Archer, Vladimir Kozlov, Shelton Benjamin the dude busters like this is what re this is what's representing ecw and yeah that's the other thing two matches on the entire show come on you can do better than that that segment with abraham washington was completely awful zach Ryder looks like a dork and just yeah this ecw episode was just awful uh, and now on to the pros uh christian that's the only pro i'll give christian a pro because christian's great that's all there is. Yeah, and yeah, that, that's all I that's all I got to say about this episode of ECW. It's just, just terrible. What an awful way to say goodbye to ECW. TNA said bye to ECW better with Hardcore Justice. They really did. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. If you did enjoy, then be sure to smack that like button. Like I said already, gonna have an update video probably coming out tomorrow or the day after. Got a lot to talk about. Got a lot of life updates. I don't really like doing update videos because I feel like I can put my energy towards something more creative. But there's a lot to discuss. Uh, and I'm excited to put that video out because it's 
it's not often that I really get open with you guys about stuff and let you know what's going on in my life, but stuff has happened, you know? I made some changes to my life. Nothing bad, by the way. It's all positive changes, but we'll get on to that in the video. But like I said, thanks for watching, guys. Follow me on Twitter at Top 10 Wrestling. My Instagram is at I'm Tom Bell. Check out my podcast Twitter, link in the description. That'd be really appreciated. Shoots N Jobbers. Uh, also, like and subscribe, notifications on. Comment down below what video you want to see next. And yeah, goodbye and keep on rolling.